So here we have our finished product and we need to do a render. To do that, we are going to uh, go to the output panel. And uh, this is uh, the default view of the output panel the first time you enter. And <clears throat> what I'm going to do is render to a user defined folder, uh, not to use the uh, ones that uh, Mystica has by default. Uh, first, I'm going to uh, choose that folder. So I'm going to activate uh, the video side of the render, and then I'm going to uh, press this gear here. And at the bottom of the video setup, I have uh, the default render name uh, path as a target. I want to change that. And how I'm going to change that is I, I'm going to use the user defined one. Automatically, uh, Mystica uh, just uh, adds the one of the defaults, but I want to change that. And I'm going to choose uh, the desktop here just to easily show where it goes. As soon as I choose the desktop, Mystic also adds some uh, information here, basically uh, that uh, will have uh, the render name and everything and the extension. We'll press OK. And uh, here I'm going to render an MP4 uh, with uh, NVIDIA. Uh, lossless is fine. If I wanted to change anything, I'll have a gear here. I'm not going to change any of the codec options. And uh, then I'm going to add audio. Uh, the audio will be in movie. Uh, if I wanted to render an uncompressed separate file audio, I would use uh, that option. And just underneath, we could see uh, all the details, um, advanced audio coding, bitrate, and 16 channels. Uh, these 16 channels, as Mystica says here in parenthesis, it's, in the, it's defined in the audio panel. So I don't want that. I only want two channels. So I'm going to go to the audio panel and set this to output to... Uh, channels okay and then hit apply and go to the to the output again and there we could see that now that the channels has uh, changed so now we have two outputs two channels and then in render I'm just gonna say okay this is going to be mp4 uh, music video okay whoops uh, typo I got that um, I'm going to render this as a single clip if I wanted to render into individual uh, clips per shot or per segment I would choose otherwise uh, metadata source none of that is applicable for this render right now um, source clip name no I want the render name as my tape name source and the uh, TC rules, I want to use the timeline TC, and yes, as main. Okay, so now here we're ready. Uh, if I want to do, I could save this as a render preset, okay. And maybe I could call this like uh, my client MP4. Let's say client MP4 render okay so every time I uh, want to uh, do this type of render I just need to uh, hit that preset and then the next thing I have to do is uh, select what part of the timeline I want to render um, you can select uh, a node or, uh, in this case, an effect, the framing effect that we've applied uh, throughout the timeline. That is actually really helpful for these kind of uh, operations. But it's also uh, recommended to do it with the in and out points. So I select the framing effect and press uh, this uh, set in and out to selection button. Okay, and you can see there that the in and out will uh, mark uh, my render. Then this is going to be a master render. Yeah, if uh, I wanted to, uh, I have the option of defining this as a draft render. 
this would mean that it will be held in a, a different folder okay so uh, now that I have this selected I just have to uh, hit foreground render and there we go So, once the render is done, it pops up uh, just on top of the um, timeline, okay? So we could see it here, and it's just a clip that you double click, and you could see you could see it in the Avon tree, it's just on top of the whole stack, okay? And we could see uh, the result immediately after uh, the render okay so that is actually sometimes quite helpful if i go to attributes we could see that image file and audio file um, uh, they all um, target the desktop that uh, we chose as our target folder okay they point to the, uh, the desktop there and if i go to the desktop i can see that i have an mp4. This is a temp file that Mystica uh, creates. You could get rid of it. Okay. Uh, yes. Because uh, we don't need it. And then that mp4 is something that we could send uh, to our client. But um, what um, happens when you do a render in Mystica? Well, first of all, obviously, we get uh, the clip that we just saw. But secondly, okay and maybe slightly less obvious is that in the render folder over here in data mystica creates a folder with the name of the render that uh, we did in the output the one that we defined so if i click the output panel and see here we could see that the folder has exactly the same name and if i go inside i have a clp and a and uh, R&D. Let's see what those are. The CLP, okay, I'm going to drag and drop it into the timeline. And then I'm going to drag and drop the R&D. Okay. The CLP is the render, exactly the same as the one that popped up uh, when the render finished. Okay, so if I uh, look at the uh, record uh, monitor, we could see that that is the one that we rendered and the CLP that I just brought in from the render folder is exactly the same. I mean, it's actually uh, the same clip. And what is the R&D? Uh, does this sound, uh, look familiar to you? This actually looks like a group, doesn't it? Well, let's navigate inside the group then. So if I navigate inside the group, oh, we see exactly the same things that we saw in the timeline. So the R&D is actually the script, what in Mystica we call the render script, okay? And it contains the information that we sent out to render. This is very useful to track down maybe uh, mistakes. Uh, you could also use it as a uh, conform uh, target uh, later on in a, for another project. That's why it's important to choose the right time code when you before you hit render and also it is very useful to uh, if uh, in the unlikely event of uh, mystica crashing or losing some of your data you could always recover uh, most of your work just by going back to the R&Ds so R&Ds are really helpful uh, feature in mystica that every time you hit render, Mystica will create an R&D that will contain all the information that you uh, sent to render. And if I open this group by ungrouping, we can see it's exactly the same as what we sent out uh, to render a few minutes ago.